A man dedicated to uplifting the community is in need of help. For months, Ronnie Guy has fed neighbors, including those in homeless camps. But following a fire, he's the one who's homeless now. New at 6, WCCO's Reg Chapman shows us who's stepping up so Ronnie can keep serving the community. The death of George Floyd compelled Ronnie Guy to go to the intersection of 38th and Chicago. I wanted to do something for the community, so I took like $1,000 of my own money and uh, bought a whole bunch of food, bought a barbecue grill, and uh, started cooking for the community on 38th and Chicago. Guy began giving away food and others quickly took notice. And at that point, I knew I needed to help them. So I, I came alongside of them and helped them uh, just do what they do better. I took to Facebook and asked Facebook, if you guys want to see me keep doing it, send a dollar or two to Cash App. That's when Twin Cities Relief was born. Armed with more than 150 volunteers, they began feeding people and passing out goods. The donations were coming in fast and COVID-19 limited where they could be stored. I started storing a lot of stuff at my house, whether it was in the basement or in my spare rooms. Two nights ago, after feeding the homeless, his house and all he owned was gone. I leave for five minutes and I get a phone call from my neighbor that my house is on fire. One of the things he was most worried about was all of the things that I've just gotten to be able to go out and continue to uplift uh, the Twin Cities community. Friend Cy Huff says although Guy is homeless, he continues to take donations for others. My hope is that uh, everybody gets the spirit of Ronnie Guy. Uh, that spirit of paying it forward, that spirit of taking care of your neighbor, that spirit of taking care of your community. This is more reason to continue. And this is an eye opener. This makes me want to help families that aren't just homeless, that aren't just down on their luck. Um, this, we're going through a pandemic, and I feel like everybody needs relief. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Volunteers with Twin Cities Relief set up this GoFundMe to help Guy's mission to uplift others. You can find a link to donate on WCCO.com.